Okay, so first the oscillators. There are four voltage controlled oscillators. Each of them has a sine wave output, triangular, sawtooth, inverted sawtooth, and square. In the square wave mode, there's also an accompanying shape control to adjust the mark space ratio. Each of the oscillators has a free run control to allow you to get an output without a CV input. A tune control which gives plus or minus half an octave tuning range. And a range control which sets the overall frequency range from right up to half, half a foot. right down to 32 feet and a low frequency range as well. Probably just hear the oscillator just ticking over then on the square wave setting. Oscillators running simultaneously. The CV inputs to the oscillators are via the patch board, and the outputs are directly connected to mixers one, two, and three. Okay, so with the noise generator, we have either white noise or pink noise. So the keyboard controller provides the CV output to control, amongst other things, the oscillators. Now, I just need to put the camera down a second. There is a sweep control, which sweeps the frequency up and down. There is a tune control. There's a glide control, which is the same as portamento, uh, with it off. And with it on. There's also a modulation control and a modulation output, which allows the frequency to be changed via the transient generator, for example, so I've got that hooked up now. That's an example. Or it can be modulated via another source, for example, the uh, oscillator. So I've got oscillator one hooked up to the modulation input. And that's the uh, keyboard controller. Now we have the envelope controller. The envelope controller is a transient generator with an integrated voltage controlled amplifier. It can be triggered either via the keyboard, which I'll do now. Or by an external source. I've got an oscillator rigged up to trigger that is the external source, so I'll switch that on now so it'll keep repeating. Now I've actually got this set up to follow the pictogram here, so I'll just uh, show you show you the levels and, and where they're at when it triggers. So 
So you can adjust the attack. Decay one. I'll trigger it a bit faster. also has a linear or exponential curves So that's the envelope controller. Transient generator number one is almost identical to the envelope controller that uh, you've just seen. Uh, the difference with this is it doesn't have the integrated voltage control amplifier. So what I can do with this one, to show you again how the controls work, um, I've got it set up to control the frequency of an oscillator so transient generator gives a CV output and again it can be triggered either by the keyboard or via an external uh, trigger so again I've got an oscillator set up to trigger it so I'll turn that on now so it triggers uh, continuously and I'll show you the pictogram when it triggers I'll show you again. So that shows you these. That shows you the CV. Turn that down a little bit. That shows you the CV output. And again, we can change all the controls. I'll trigger it a bit faster. So that's the uh, transit generator number one. Okay, transit generator number two. That's a more sophisticated generator. Again, it generates a CV output. And this has a start level, a hold level, and a final level. And it has a delay, a slope, and another delay and slope. If I trigger that again from um, the oscillator, well, I'll do it from the keyboard first. Um, I've just got three levels set. So when I trigger it, it will start at the first level. After the delay, it will change to the next level. After the delay, it will change to the final level. So here we go. This is now controlling another oscillator. Here we go. So I'll trigger that again from an oscillator so it continuously triggers. And then I'll show you we can change the slopes. And the delays.
So that's the uh, transient generator number two. Mixers four and five are both two input mixers. They've got inputs A and B, and they are accessible via the patch board. I've got some uh, sources connected up to these just to show those working. Again, they've got the overload LEDs if the signal is too high. That's mixer five. Let's see two mixers. The synthesizer incorporates two voltage controlled amplifiers, one and two. Uh, they have a control and a signal input and then obviously an output each. All the inputs and outputs are accessible via the patch board. Um, I'll show you in ring modulation mode first. I've got two different oscillators, feeding one feeding the signal, one the control input, um, and you can get sort of discordant sounds using that. That's amplifier one and amplifier two. And in voltage controlled amplifier mode, I'll just patch in a an oscillator. Okay, so I've got a oscillator running on a square wave as the control input. Okay, so that's just turning the amplifier on and off. And amplifier two. So that's the two voltage controlled amplifiers. Okay, the controller allows you to produce a output voltage, CV voltage, and have it modulated by a, another source. Uh, so for this example, I've got the output connected to an oscillator, and the modulation input is coming from a, another oscillator on a low frequency. Uh, so you'll just see the effect of that. I'll just uh, patch it in so you can hear the oscillator then whose uh, frequency is determined by the level and then the modulation as I say I have another oscillator connected up to the modulation input and if I increase the level course you don't have to have it just uh, controlling oscillators you could for example set the midpoint of a filter with the level control and then use the modulation with a, another input to uh, control the filter so that's the uh, controller